Good morning out there, folks. This is Darius Dell here to present our Macro Minute for Wednesday, February 16th, 2022. Starting with markets, we have stocks mixed this morning, commodities up, crypto up, dollar down, global bond yields down. Big movers, Japan's Nikkei 225 index up around 2%, net gas up 5%, 10 year Swiss yield down six basis points. That's a 17% move. Shifting gears to the macro front, uh, January PPI data from around the globe were confirming of our view that the world traversed the peak of supply chain disruptions in Q4. Headline PPI to the US um, decelerated to 9.7% year over year in January. That's the lowest print in three months. Uh, core PPI in the US decelerated to 8.3% in January. That's the lowest print in two months. Uh, core PPI in US uh, X trade services decelerated to 6.9% year over year in January. That's the lowest print we've seen since October as well. Uh, China headline PPI decelerated to 9.1% in Jan. That's the lowest print we've seen since July. China manufacturing PPI decelerated to 7% year over year in Jan. That's the lowest print we've seen since April of last year. And then lastly, UK PPI inputs decelerated to 13.6% year over year in Jan. That's the lowest print we've seen since September of 21. Um, investors should expect inflation momentum to broadly wane in the coming months, which should perpetuate a deceleration in the speed of repricing monetary policy expectations. It is likely that we are at or near the peak policy tightening gamma in the U.S. in particular, with Bullard's comments last week likely representing that summit. Taking it to the chart here, we're starting to see a little bit of a slope change here with respect to uh, what overnight index swap force markets are pricing in from a, a, a policy tightening perspective. Certainly seeing that peak in Europe. Looks like we might be seeing a little bit of a pullback in the U.K. Again, these could be, you know, sort of, you know, just pullbacks heading, you know, heading much higher. But it's our expectation that as inflation data starts to wane from a momentum perspective, that the momentum in these time series in terms of tightening expectations really starts to wane. Uh, that's obviously a, a potentially bullish signal for bonds. Uh, with respect to the probable range setups, uh, nothing overbought or oversold in the global macro risk matrix. Uh, S&P 500, that is neutral VAMs minus 3.9% of downside versus 4.4% of upside. 10-year treasury, or sorry, WTI, uh, that's neutral VAMs, uh, minus 10% uh, of downside versus 3% of upside. Bloomberg dollar index, that's uh, bullish VAM still, minus 0.2% of downside versus 1.7% of upside. 10-year treasury yield, still bullish VAMs, minus 22 basis points of downside versus 12 basis points of upside. Bitcoin, still bearish VAMs, uh, minus 18% of downside, still at the upper boundary of its probable range. Uh, Ethereum, bearish VAMs uh, versus 1%, or sorry, bearish VAMs, 22% of downside versus 1% of upside. And then lastly, gold neutral VAMs minus 4% of downside versus 0.5% of upside. So with that, Darius Dell presenting our Macro Minute for Wednesday, February 16th, 2022. Best of luck out there, folks.